Disney, it's about damn time, boy. The one I've been begging for is happening. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on another episode of Side Flick. My name is Chris. We have some movie news to talk about. Probably some of the most exciting news I've heard since the outbreak. Two adaptations of a video game property that I can't believe is getting two adaptations. An image to the long-awaited Avatar 2. That is so much more, guys. So I need you guys to leave your opinions down below on what you think of today's topic, specifically Hercules. That's what I really want to know about from y'all. And make sure you're hitting that like button until it turns blue. It just really helps me to know you guys are enjoying these videos and want to see more of them. And as a really quick plug, later today I'll be releasing a video where I play the new Predator game that was released. You guys have really been enjoying the videos where I take video games that are based off movies. I've been having so much fun and I'm really happy with the way this video is shaping up. So look out for that later today. Alright, starting off small here with something you might have heard about in the last couple of days. But I really was just puzzled that this was announced. If you're a fan of Matt. Magic, well then you might be excited because Now You See Me 3 is in active development over at Lionsgate Pictures finishing off the trilogy of the Now You See Me Magic Heist people. Now don't get me wrong, I'm actually a big fan of the first one. I really dug what they did with that first Now You See Me, especially because it was the type of movie that dealt with magic but also had a believable factor to it. Like, you're acting like you have a superpower, but I think there's a logical explanation to how you pulled off that move. But then we got to the second movie, and these boys were straight up superheroes. To the point where I couldn't even be amazed, because with your best scene in the movie being completely CGI, in what was supposed to amaze me of you guys flipping a card around, makes for a really cool scene. But it did sort of lose my interest, and I just don't know at all if I want a now you you see me three the other interesting thing to know about here when you start reading on the article they make it sound like they don't even have the main cast in mind to continue the series because the article states that they will introduce new characters into the world while also allowing an opportunity for the original characters to pop up in a sense now you see me three is technically a soft reboot as much as i love the cast members of the other now you see me movies it would be kind of cool to get a new group of magicians pulling off a heist or some crazy scenario. Only thing I ask is no matter how ridiculous you get, I think you owe it to us to by the end of the movie, explain it in a way where we're like, okay, this is believable. It's not just Yahoo magic being pulled out of your butts. And if this new movie is introducing new characters while working as a soft reboot, there's no way they're calling it Now You See Me 3. So be ready for a really cringy title, something like Now You See Me. Or do ya? I don't know, give me your ideas down below. But also let me know, are you interested to see a third Now You See Me movie based off the diving quality of the past two movies? Next up we're gonna be talking about another video game property that is getting the live action interpretation all thanks to our little blue hedgehog. For those of you who are fans of Sims, congratulations because you guys are not only getting one movie, you are getting two movies. According to Geeks Worldwide, which have had a good reputation for getting scoops in the past of stuff that has come to fruition in Hollywood, they are reporting on, like I said, two Sim movies coming out in the near future. Breaking down the first project that seems to be the priority right now, and the one we'll probably get first, is an adaptation of Sim City. Now, believe it or not, the Sim franchise has multiple games that have different methods of playing it, and Sim City is all based around building a city as big as you can as successful as you can instead of more personal characters that you get to control the idea for this movie is being described as a comedic version of a roland emmerich-esque disaster movie inside the world of sim city now the first thing you want to notice from that description is that they bring up a director roland emmerich and if you haven't heard that name that's fine but you've most likely seen his movies because this man is just made a career off destroying cgi cities Movies like 2012, Godzilla, Independence Day Resurgence, The Day After Tomorrow. And the idea of this SimCity movie is I guess someone will get a hold of the game, create a city in his computer or her computer until something goes wrong in the game, destroying the city, but also destroying the city in real life. Yeah, that seems like the basic formula for your video game adapted movies and also sounds kind of Jumanji-esque. Now the idea for the second Sim movie in development 
development is based more on the traditional gameplay of the sim video games in where we'll be following a teenage girl who plays the video game sims living this double life until what happens in the video game starts merging into her reality we've kind of known this idea for a sim movie for a while now because if you haven't heard when disney acquired fox studios they canceled these projects from being made having them now move to lionsgate studios so we'll see if these things are even or winner but I don't think they're gonna come close to my boy Sonic the Hedgehog. Diving now into a movie that I just don't ever know if we're actually going to see, Avatar 2. Yeah, if you didn't know, they're still viciously working on these Avatar sequels. They're not just working on one. They plan on making, I believe it's like five or six of these things. Even though the last movie is almost 10 years old, what is taking you so long? We did get a behind the scene image posted online by the Twitter account. Also spoiling the fact that I guess Sigourney Weaver turns to her human body because if you don't remember in the first avatar movie she ends up dying but for all we know these could be flashbacks or man james cameron is such a crazy person he could come up with a story that'll make sense to bring back sigourney weaver the main reason i bring this up is just I don't think the Avatar movies will have the success that they had back in 2012. It was a complete phenomenon. It was new technology. People were so crazy about this movie. But now it's been so long and I think there aren't that many fans of it that when this next movie comes out, I believe it will underperform because people are expecting it to at least make a billion dollars. And I don't even think it'll make a billion dollars at the box office. They might have six or seven sequels planned. We ain't even gonna get to that third film in my opinion. And that's not me bashing it. I'm willing to watch these Avatar films and enjoy them and be completely wrong if they are a masterpiece. But I think it's a little too late and I just really want to know your guys' opinion. If Avatar 2 comes out, do you think it'll still be a huge success? And are you even interested on these multiple sequels? But okay now, talking about the thing that made me so giddy... Hercules. This report is being brought to us by Disney Insider who has a great track record of getting Disney related scoops and they just reported yesterday that a live action Hercules movie based off the same Disney cartoon movie is going to be coming to theaters in the near future and yes son you have no idea how big of a fan I am of Disney's Hercules like I'm talking about this thing is my life. I don't know what it is, but ever since I saw this movie as a kid, which apparently my dad tells me was the first movie I saw in theaters, I have been unbelievably obsessed with this Disney film. And ever since Disney started ranking out all their properties, turning them live action for cash grabs, this is the one that I was like, fine. You can touch it, but you gotta make it a masterpiece just like the original is. I can't be the only one out there who's such a big Hercules fan, but let me read you some of the details that came out with this because it's pretty exciting stuff. So yes, Disney is working on a live action interpretation of that cartoon Hercules movie. And like some of their upcoming live action interpretations, this one is meant to be going to theaters. We've heard of some of the live action movies that they're working on that are meant for Disney+. Plus. I'm so happy this wasn't meant to go to Disney+. Plus. Some of those that will be going to Disney+, Plus with a live action interpretation are the Robin Hood movie and Lilo and Stitch. This one will also be faithful to some of the songs in the original movie, which yes, I like that new some of the catchiest songs are in Hercules but at the same time they'll be creating some new ones for the live action interpretation and according to this report they do say there's a couple of directors in mind that Disney has to helm this live action Hercules movie the first one that they mention is Jon Favreau which shouldn't even be a surprise because that man is a money maker for Disney not only did this guy direct the first two Iron Man movies he also wrote the entire Mandalorian series which is a huge success did the Jungle Book movie which was fantastic and yeah had a little little bit of a stinker with the Lion King movie but he did his best I wouldn't mind John Favreau to do this but I think he's had enough of some live action interpretations of Disney movies that he'll let this one pass the next one ya boy they better do it the Russo brothers are also in talks to be doing this live action Hercules movie. Now, if you haven't heard the name Russo brothers, you are not a Marvel fan because these guys have directed Captain America Civil War, Captain America Winter Soldier, Infinity War, Avengers Endgame. They've proven that they can handle epic storytelling and bring it to the big screen. These would be the guys I would most desperately want to helm this movie. But even putting aside my Hercules obsession and how pumped I am for this movie, just think about it or watch that movie and and think to yourself, 
yeah, this could look fantastic in live action. Just think of Hades. He's going to get that sort of Ghost Rider effect. That's going to be amazing to look in live action. Some of the monsters they have in that movie are also going to be looking fantastic, like that dragon that every time you cut off its head, only two more grow back, or the three-headed dog, not to mention the babe that I fell in love with as a kid in Hercules. Who are they going to cast to be her? Or who will even be playing Hercules himself? Because that's going to be a role I have a lot of attachment to and whoever they get boy they better be perfect and look good in a skirt when more official details start coming out on the live action hercules movies they are getting their own solo new series updates just because i'm so excited for them i don't care if nobody watches those videos i just want to start the hype train for this hercules movie but anyways guys that's just some news that's been happening in the last couple of days let me know your thoughts down below on everything we've discussed also like i mentioned don't forget to check out that video where i play the new predator game i had a lot of fun making that thing and there is just some footage on there that makes me look so bad as a gamer i'd really appreciate it if you guys check that video out but as always be sure to like and subscribe follow me on twitter my name is chris take care